Welcome to this new video of the list dedicated to the programming of the Raspberry Pi in an easy way. You will find the link of the list in the description. In this video, we will see how to make a communication between two Raspberry Pi. There is several ways to do that. We will use the REST communication, which means that one board will act as a server and waiting for incoming HTTP request. The second one will act as a client and will send the HTTP request. Usually, these HTTP requests will be sensors data. Now let's go to the site easycoding.tn and search for any link to EasyPython. Make a zoom uh, of 90% to view all of the blocks. In the first part, I will make uh, the server side. We are used to answer the uh, HTTP request by the regular hello world message. Here I will modify it by answering by a number of the received request. For that I will need a variable that will uh, be incremented every time there is a request. This block will concat two strings, the static part and the variable. Now I will upload the program and make a test. As you can see, it's working. Now I will show you how to clear the HTTP request and keep only the important message. For that, I will need a variable.
Now I will run or let's say update my program. And here we are. Now uh, I will uh, program the client part uh, to send the HTTP request. This block will send the HTTP request. I will create a variable that will contain the answer from the server. Here I will send a random number uh, to the server, but it could be any uh, sensor's data. Now I will show the answer. For this program, I will send 5 HTTP requests every 5 seconds. Now I will connect to the client Raspberry Pi and run my program. As you can see, the client is sending the HTTP request and uh, we have an answer from the server. And uh, this is uh, the server side where I am receiving the client request. I hope that you liked the video. Answer you soon. Bye.